I'm gonna try something a little different in this video. I'm gonna do something that I've never done before. I'm gonna do a commentary while I uh, watch this Google I.O. 2019 event in 13 minutes video. So I'm gonna give you basically my reaction. I've watched it already, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna act as though I haven't, I've watched it once. So I'm gonna watch it now kind of the second time and maybe the next time I do this, I'll watch it without uh, having watched it before. So I've never done this before. I'm just kind of trying it out and uh, seeing if, if this is something you guys enjoy. So let's watch it. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's wonderful to be back here at Shoreline with all of you. It's wonderful to be Last here. Last year, we launched. Doesn't say his name. I'd like to address him by his name. Google News called full coverage, and we've gotten. Well, the first thing I noticed. This is the first talk. Is uh, this guy doesn't smile. Feedback on it from our users. We'll be bringing full coverage. Zero emotion from this guy. Better organized results for news related topics. It's really hard for me to get excited we about this. see a timeline of events and we'll be bringing this to search later this year. Right on, man. Podcasts are another important source of information. I like podcasts. And we'll be bringing them directly to search as well. Brain With stuff. Okay. Okay, that's it. The camera in our hands. Right away I like her better already. She's actually smiling. Tool. So today we are excited it's not very to bring insightful. the camera. I already Google knew a camera search. was a visual tool. Now, when you search for something like muscle flexion, you can view a 3D model built by Got visible a 3D body model right here. Right from the search results. Not only that, pretty cool. That is cool. Not only that, you can also place it in your own space. Augmented reality action. Okay. Not Today, super practical, but kind of cool. That we're making lens more helpful to you. I guess maybe if you were studying. Say you're at a restaurant trying to figure out what to order. The Humble Potato. Is that what that was called? What kind of a restaurant is named Humble Potato? That's got to be somewhere in California. Some kind of artsy... What the hell do they serve there? Potatoes? Just potatoes? Uh, inspired from the Great Potato Famine of... Figure out what to order. I don't know when. Let some year. automatically highlights the popular dishes at this restaurant. This is cool. Right on the menu. This is actually really cool. I would and love that. If you want to know more, you know, right away too, what I, what I, uh, I'll let her keep going. On any dish on the menu, and you can see what it looks like again at the restaurant. See, it would be cool if they added this to the augmented reality thing, so you could click on a dish and it would get placed in front of you. You could check that out, spin it around, look at it, see how big it is. See, that would sell food. I should work for Google. And of course, check out what other people are You're saying welcome, Google. on Google Maps. By the way, when you're done eating, Lens can help pay for your meal. Not so fast. Nobody laughed at her joke. <laughs> Poor lady, let's go back. I think, hold on. It's not picking up Nobody up. laughed. That was, that was crickets. Can help pay for your meal. Nothing. Not so fast. It's not hold on, hold on. I don't want to can help pay for your meal. Not so <laughs> Oh, what a poor lady. You're nice and you uh, are presenting well, but you're not funny. It's, not it's okay. Task, not all of us can have everything. Can calculate the tip and even split the total. But we're starting to think of <laughs> other ways that we can connect helpful digital information with the things in the physical world. So I'm going to give you just one example. Okay. So you're flipping through a Bon Appetit magazine. Flipping you through. You see a recipe you like. So okay. So you can point your camera at the recipe and see the page come alive. Duplex. I'm assuming she elaborated more on that, but this is just a summary because maybe that's the augmented reality thing. I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to look into it. Assistant <clears throat> restaurant reservations on your behalf by actually placing a call. But now we are moving beyond. Now I don't even have to talk to people ever. That's great. That's cool. I like that. Say you get a calendar reminder about an upcoming trip, and you want to book a rental car. You can just ask Google. This guy's boring. I don't even want to listen to him. He doesn't smile. And helping you just saw is an early preview of what we are calling duplex on the web. Oh! You guys see that? The web. He smiled. More details. 
later this year. Oh, wow. Oh, he's capable of smiling. This guy smiles all the time. I'm already more entertained. This next generation assistant will let you instantly operate your phone with your voice, multitask across apps, and complete clicking your calendar. This is pretty damn cool. I, I would personally like, I answer a lot of questions on my Instagram, my emails, uh, my website. I get notifications constantly and, and I got to I answer a lot of these questions. It would be very cool if I could be like, hey, phone, open Instagram, open my messages, you know, open the third one. Then I could just sit here with my phone in front of me and I could just tell what to do. That'd be great. So this, this is actually something that I'm excited about and multitask across different apps that's cool so different apps can be in the background but meanwhile you can be telling them to do things enough to really help you we call this feature <clears throat> for you and it'll be launching on smart displays later this summer starting with recipes podcasts and events <sighs> now beyond your preferences so i've already heard a lot of things about podcasts or a couple of things about podcasts in this uh, presentation so it seems like um pod i, I mean Everyone knows podcasts are very popular. Everyone listens to podcasts on Spotify, on YouTube. Um, so it's cool that Google recognizes that and they're building technologies to facilitate listening to podcasts and making it easier. So uh, becoming more personal means the assistant will better understand the people, places, and events. I just paused the video for a second there because uh, I wanted to make sure the volume was okay and I wouldn't have to re-record all of this. So anyway. Let's carry on here. You. If you've shared important people, places, and events with the assistant, you'll be able to ask for things more naturally. I feel like it can already do this. Like you can save contacts and I feel like this is not a new thing. Assured, you're always in control. You can edit or delete this information at any time in the updated mm. So it just looks like this is a more refined version of what already exists on your phone where you can have contacts and say, hey, phone this contact or... Hey, uh, Google Maps, I need directions home. Uh, it looks like maybe this is like a uh, more of that, I guess, more uh, features. happy to share. The assistant is also coming to Waze cool. in the next few weeks. Now, I'd like to show you the future of how we're improving your mobile driving experience even more. Okay. Introducing the assistant's new driving mode. Just put your phone in the car and say, hey, Google, let's drive. Whoa. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, Tesla already does this. You can literally walk into your Tesla, or I guess sit into your Tesla, and say, hey, Tesla, take me anywhere, and it will take you there. And I think it, you can actually tell it to go places without you in the car. So uh, that's not really that cool, but nice try, Google. Driving mode will be available this summer on any Android phone with the assistant. Okay. Oh, this guy again. I'm, not, I'm struggling with this guy. I want to skip it. That our products are safe and private. If you're in search, you can tap on your photo and you can quickly access the most relevant privacy <coughs> controls for the activity. We announced auto delete controls. Data helps <coughs> how long you want it to be safe. Okay. In weeks. One tap Next. Search. Oh, easy. he talks for so long. In Come on, man. While in incognito in maps. Oh, incognito maps. Like this is this. So this makes me think like they want. They're trying to like facilitate you uh, cheating on your significant other. If you don't want somebody to know where you're going, you can switch on incognito mode on your map, and nobody will know. But at the same time, you could also be maybe shopping for a gift. You don't want them to know that you're going to some place. You know, like I would never go to a woman's uh clothing store if my fiance saw me had go that i had gone there be fishy eh kind of cool i guess search and navigate to won't be linked to your account we want to make it easy to enter the okay. for incognito and will be okay. 2.5 there we go next active android device that's a lot of devices i believe that's a lot more than apple so you can go like active apple uh, phone, Apple phones, 1.3 billion, according to Mac rumors, a very reputable source. Technology will take an even bigger leap with foldables coming from multiple Android OEMs. 
Foldables take advantage of a completely new display technology. I think foldables are really cool. Like the idea of a foldable is really cool. But if you look at any of the most recent reviews of Samsung, because they've obviously just come up with the first foldable, foldable, um, there's a lot of problems. So, I mean, I won't be buying a foldable anytime soon. Maybe three years, and it should be good. And this is OS wide. Now the same on device machine learning powers another protects user privacy while collecting more data than any company in the world. A little bit of an oxymoron there. Would you call that an oxymoron? I don't think so. English is not my strong suit. Even emoji. And it's a huge time saver. I love this feature, this smart reply thing. I loved it when they uh, added it to Gmail. That was awesome. I hate dark theme. I think weirdos like dark theme. All you weirdos always commenting on my videos asking me to use the Android Studio dark theme. Something wrong with you. Activity data, location history, ad settings. And you decide what's on or off. Okay. Q, your device will give you helpful reminders whenever mm. an app accesses location. Quickly review every app and change location access. It's called focus mode. Oh. When I enter focus mode, I can select. I'll let her finish, and I'll talk device. about this. Focus mode is coming to devices on P and Q this fall. In Q. Okay, I skipped one when she talked about it. But basically, what that is, I think, is you can customize what. Uh, apps will do when you turn on this focus mode thing so that's pretty cool because uh, for me especially like my phone goes off all the time with notifications from people asking me questions and things like that I, just, I usually just turn it on silent flip it upside down or put it in a different room because it's too distracting but uh, with that with this focus mode thing that sounds cool I'm assuming you could adjust uh, adjust it and say like hey Instagram leave me alone hey Facebook leave me alone Meanwhile, my calendar will still be able to give me notifications or whatever. So it seems pretty cool. Parental controls will be built right into the settings of the device. So when you set up a device, this is also pretty cool. Family, you can spy on your kids. I mean, uh, it sounds bad when you say it like that, but if I had a kid, I would definitely want to know what they were doing on their phone because there's some shit on the internet, and I'd want to know. So today, I'm excited to announce that Q Beta 3 is available on... All right, next. And today, we're so this is actually the thing I'm most excited about, this Nest thing. I don't like the name, Nest. The it makes Nest me feel like I'm a bird. But Nest, Nest this is probably the coolest thing I saw at, uh, from this presentation. If you want to know what's going on in your home, you Check out your dogs. Like a Nest camp. And just Spy like a Nest camp, on your family. You see your event history. No, but it's cool because you could see. I have dogs. I would love to see what they do while I'm away, for example. Or check out people in your home who aren't supposed to be in your home. This is cool, too. Set this up in your kitchen. Chatting. Well, no, I guess you wouldn't need to do this. Chatting to the screen. Pouring some milk. Holding my kid. Do it all. That's And it follows you. That's pretty badass. That, that actually kind of makes me scared, to be honest. Um, makes me a little fearful that like these technologies are coming up, like they can follow me in my house, watch me on camera, listen to me. But at the same time, I'm still going to buy them and I'm still going to use them. So well played Google. It. And you'll always know when the camera's on with the green. Oh, see so here, here now he's trying to make you feel more you assured that, that, uh, they're not spying on you. Physical switch on the back electrically disconnects. The in case you're extra paranoid. We have a but switch on the back. extending the options to personalize <clears throat> using the camera with a feature we call face match. For each person in your family that chooses to turn it on, the assistant guides you through a... Whoa, Rick. That looks like a 16-year-old picture of you, buddy. That doesn't look like you. That's got to be Rick's kid. Of creating a face model, no way that's Rick. Or Rick's living in the past. Then, whenever you walk in front of the camera... Hub Max recognizes you and shows just your information and not anyone else's. And in the morning, I can walk into the kitchen and the assistant knows to What's go going on, Google? My calendar, what am I doing my today? Details, the weather, 
and any other information this is cool this is a cool product you're also getting full stereo sound with a powerful rear in case you want to party and now when the you want to look at your set, calendar you want to cook the game. you want to tell it to shut gesture. up do whatever you just raise your hand all this will be available on Nest Hub Max. I think I'm going to buy one of these, honestly. This, that thing is cool. I know Today, Google's going to spy on me, but as long as I keep my clothes on in my kitchen, should be okay. To All right, next I Pretty cool. Talk about Pixel. I want to introduce you to the newest members of the Pixel family. Google Pixel 3a and 3a. I've never actually owned a Pixel, and I've never done any research on a Pixel, but I heard they're really good phones. I use a OnePlus. OnePlus is like kind of... I mean, it's the best bang for your buck that I've seen. So I haven't really researched um, a Pixel. Purplish, because we're hip and cool. See, Google's cool too. Purplish. And we've also included a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Pixel 3a can take amazing That's cool. photos in low lights. Wow, people love that. Jesus. Holy. Pixel's portrait mode on portrait mode and a fan favorite and I love portrait mode makes your pictures look so much better it's actually kind of unreal on pixel Oops. phones when you use walking directions instead of staring at that blue dot on your phone your piece going of shit to blue dot in the real world to tell you where to turn next damn pixel 3a people love her she got like more cheers than every other presenter combined. They love those arrows, I guess. And what else was it? The, the night pictures? So you can get up to 30 hours on a single charge. My OnePlus gets more than that. OnePlus. I'm not sponsored by OnePlus, by the way. But OnePlus. My OnePlus also will do that. On the software side, you get the latest Google security patches and updates for three years, including Android Q this summer. Cool. Pixel 3a and 3a XL are available in 13 markets starting today. Right on. I Thank probably you. won't buy one. And enjoy the oh, that's it. All right. Well, let me know in the comments if you liked this commentary. Um, if you do, I'll do it more. If you don't, then I'll stop doing it. That's basically all it is. I thought I, I watched this thing anyway. Um, I can sit here and watch it again and talk about what I see. Give a little bit of feedback. Um, yeah, so if you if you like this video, leave a comment for sure and let me know because I want to know. I really like legit want to know if people want to see more of these commentary videos or tell me to do commentary on other things. I don't know. Um, if you didn't like it, tell me I suck and don't do this again because I won't. <laughs> if, if honestly you, it's not worth doing, then I won't do it. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.